Hey fitness friends, today we have a fun TGIF workout to do. So this is a Friday for me. I put this workout together to get a nice, sweaty, full body, accomplished feeling going before the weekend. So for this workout I will be using my dumbbells, my kettlebells, um, my plyo box, and my sandbag. I will not be using my barbell today, you're welcome. And that is it. I do have a short five minute warm up. It should get us all nice and sweaty, ready to head into a weighted set. So go ahead and grab your equipment. And remember, you can always use any equipment that you want to use to challenge yourself today. So if you choose to use your barbell, go for it. That will make this workout a little bit harder. All right, I will see you on the mat in just a minute. All right guys, I have a five minute, as many rounds as possible, body weight warm up for us. We're gonna do five chair lunges four hands on bench hops, three incline push-ups, and two per leg rocket step up, reverse lunge, and switch. So I'm gonna have it beep every minute on the minute so we know where we're at. This is only five minutes. I'm gonna use my low file box for it. And hitting start. 10 second countdown. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out because we have some hands on the bench hops. We'll be hopping over top of this. Starting with five chair lunges. So, one, two, three, four, five. Put your hands down, four bed chops. One, two, three, four. Three incline push ups. One, two, three. Hop it in. Rocket step up, lunge back and switch. We'll get two per leg. So count on one leg only here. That's one. Two. Back to the top, chair lunges for five. One, two, three, four, five. Four bench hops, let's count. On one side only for these this time. One, two, three, four. Four push, three push ups. Flat body. One, two, three. Rocket step up, lunge back and switch. Only two of these. One, Two, back to chair lunges. One, two, three, four, five. Bed chops for four, counting on one side only. One, that's two minutes down. Two, three, four. Three incline push ups. One, two, three. Rocket step up, lunge back and switch. One. Your breath should be increasing here. Two, chair lunges. One, two, three, four, five. Bend chops for four. One, two, three, four. Three incline push-ups. One, two, three. That's three minutes down. One, that's two. Chair lunges are five. One, two, three, four, five. Four bench hops. One, 
three, four, three incline push ups. One, two, three. Rock it up. Lunge back switch. You've got one more minute. One. Two. Two lunges. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Then chops are four. One. Two. Three. Four. Three inclines. One. Two. Three. Rock it up. Lunge back and switch. One. And two. And we're at one second. End it right there. That was a great warm up. Feel a little breathless, a little, little sweat starting to work up here. We're gonna go right onto our pyramids. We have eight to two reps, evens only. We're gonna treat it as a circuit, okay? So we're doing a staggered push up, stand bag drag, but one equals one for that. Single arm swing to switch, catch, and squat. We'll count on the squat. T stand flies, we'll do eight per arm and double arm snatch to an alternating heavy bicep curl, okay? So I have my sandbags here ready to go. Other than that, I'll be using my 40. So let me grab that. My 25s for the double arm snatch and heavy curls and 12s for the T stand flies. So set your equipment out so you can move smoothly through this circuit. Let's get it started. Put that sandbag on one side of you. If you're not using a sandbag, you certainly can use a kettlebell or dumbbell for this, okay? Stay your push-up. You've only got eight. So get your push-up, put your hand in front, drag that bag through. That's one. Two. single arm swing to switch, catch and squat. Hop away from your kettlebell to start. Swing to switch, catch, squat. That's one. Two. Three. flies. So going on an elbow T-stand. Stay in that T-stand position for all eight reps. One, two, control the negative. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Stack your feet for the hardest version. That arm is slightly bent. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it down. Double arm snatch to alternating bicep curls. So that's one curl per snatch, okay? Snatch it up, bring it down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. down to four reps. Power through this. Chest to the mat. One. Two. Three. Four. 
Sing long swings. Switch and catch it. One. Two. Three. Four. Drop it. T stand flies. Make your movements exact, strong, muscled. One, two, three, four. Switch it. One, two, three, four. Bicep curls with those snatches. I know these heavy bike curls are hard. Get into it. Let the reps add up. One, don't swing the weight. Two. Three. Four, final round, and you've conquered this pyramid. Let's go, stagger push up, stand by drag for two. One, two, switch, switch, and spot. Catch it. Offset squat. One. Two. Set that bell out of your way. T stand flies, two per arm. One. Two. Switch it over. One, two, last move in this first set. It's just flying by. <laughs> Snatch, curl. Two, nice work, set down. We're going to cruise right on to our next set because, like I said, it's Friday. We never have time to waste, but especially on Friday. You get in, you do business, you get out. We have Iman. It's six minutes. Five good mornings, four cleans, three bent rows, two dragon lunges, one burpee clean and press. That's a sandbag Iman. If you don't have a sandbag, Go for a kettlebell. Hold your bell in front for your good mornings, okay? Um, dragon lunge is just simply where you reverse lunge and you bring the weight to the outside of that leg. We're just getting one per leg, okay? If we have a whole lot of extra rest, we'll add that two per leg. You've got six minutes. Ten second countdown is on. So load up that standby. Five good mornings. One, two, three, four, five. Unload it. Four cleans. One, two, three, four. Three dead rows. One, two, three. Two dragon lunges. One, two. One burpee clean and press. Third 
13 seconds, I'm gonna load it up. We'll stick with the single dragon lunge per leg. Breathe. You got this. Five good mornings. One, two, three, four, five. Four cleans. One, two, three, four. Three dead rows. One, two, three. Dragon lunges. One, two, burpee clean and rest. Nineteen seconds, I'm still loading it up. I might not do it every round. Do it while you can. You've got eight seconds. Find the calmness in your breath. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Three rows. One, two, three. Two dragons. One, Two, burpee clean and press. Twenty-three seconds and sitting it down the time. The extra clean and presses count. You've got ten seconds. Get your life together. I feel just like you do right now. Five. Load it up. One, two, three, four, five, four cleans. One, two, three, four, three rows. One, two, three, two dragons. One, Two, burpee clean and press. Twenty seconds. You only have two more rounds. Yes, you can. Believe in yourself. Load it up at five seconds right now. Five good mornings. One, two, three, four, five. Four cleans. One, two, three, four. Three rows. One, two, three. Dragons. One, Two, burpee clean and press. Twenty-one seconds. And you're on your final minute. That should make you smile. Ready to load it up right now. Five good mornings. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, three rows. One, two, three. Dragons. One, two, burpee <laughs> clean and press. <sighs> oh, 
Don't underestimate that sandbag. My goodness. You should be breathless. You should feel really worked right now. But we're moving straight on. We have a hip set. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. 80, 80 format. I'm using my plyo box. First one is box jump, squat jump. So box jump, step up. I'm sorry, step down, box jump, squat jump. Okay, <laughs> pairing that with plank rows, nice wide planting of your weights, ninja up or stand up, and then deadlift. Then we have a decline burpee deadlift. I'll be using my dumbbells again. Froggy push up to reset swing using kettlebell. Roll back, offset, kettlebell, deadlift, and step up. I'll be using that pile box for that step up. Okay, let's do it. So choose your equipment. I'm going with 25s, my pile box, and my 40 pound kettlebell. This is a 12 minute set. 10 second countdown is on. It's gonna go so fast. Trust me. Bring my kettlebells, there's dumbbells out right here. Box jump, squat jump. Step down, squat jump. Box jump again. Step down, squat jump. Try to make it dynamic. So don't stand up after that squat jump. Stay in that squat position and box jump. Yeah, my quads are burning too. I'm right here with you. This is challenging. We came to do the work. Get in and get out, right? Put your head down. Do the work. Okay, plank rows. Ninja, deadlift. So when you do your plank rows, Set those weights that out wide enough for you to put your knees down in between. So row, row. Give yourself a space. Down, ninja, deadlift. Plank row. Widen your weights. Knees down, ninja, deadlift. Squat jumps next. Good job. Get each of those one more time. I'm here with you. I got you. Really squeeze your glutes at the top of that box jump. Get them involved. Take it away from your quads. They don't deserve all the work. That is glutes and hamstrings are powerful and strong. Use them. your energy. Do not hold back here. Don't reserve anything. I 
promise you, your endorphins will supply you with what you need throughout the rest of the day. Leave it all out here on the mat. Three, two, one. Okay, next move. Decline burpee deadlift. Froggy push up, reset swing. So getting that out. Hands are down, feet are up. Get your push up. Hop down, deadlift. heavier weights for these deadlifts. You don't have to. If you want to, you have a pause button. Correct your weight. If you want to stick with 25s, because that's what you're going to challenge yourself with today, like me, stick with your 25s. It is no big deal. This is a hit interval. Your takeaway should be that you're working, you're sweating, you're enjoying yourself. Get these things anyway. Put your hands where you want your feet to land. Push this back a little further. Froggy push up. Jump your feet to where your hands are. Reset swing. Hands where your feet are. Up back and let a froggy push up. This move has a really nice flow. If you get your positioning down. Be exact, be precise. Hands to feet, feet to hands. Nice work. Back to your decline burpee. Deadlift. Stay in this. Let's go. This is the last time you're doing this move. This is only 12 minutes of hit. You're going to do much harder things, probably today. And these 12 minutes of hit. I can pretty much guarantee you that. But enduring through this is going to make all that other hard stuff seem that much more bearable. Maybe you can adjust your opinions. Maybe you can adjust your judgments to be more curious, to figure things out in a different angle than what you're used to. Maybe you're curious to how much you can lift today. Increase your weights if that's the case. Feet to hands. Reset swing. That's my kid Max playing in the basement. <laughs> I'm curious to what they're doing as well. slime making an art stuff into the basement <laughs> because I couldn't take seeing it in my kitchen anymore and I don't want it in the bedrooms. That's a mistake. I certainly don't want it in here. This <laughs> is the basement it was. Last two moves in this set. We have a roll back, offset, kettlebell deadlift, and step up. We'll stay on one side the whole round. Kickstand deadlift and tactical lunge. So set it alongside your foot. Get a roll back. Stand up right next to it. Pick it up. Step it up. I'm holding in my right. Stepping up with my right. Setting it down by my right.
flat back, strong core. This is a functional movement. Many times, we bend over and pick things up with just one hand on one side of our body. Stabilize, keep yourself strong, reduce the risk of injury with your strong core. All right, take stand up left to tactical lunge. So stay on the right for this. Starting, kick stand your right leg, get a deadlift, step back with that right leg, go under your left leg, step it up. Kick stand left leg, deadlift, step back with that leg, under. Just alternating your kick stand deadlift and your tactical lunge. Smooth, steady, strong. Maybe create a fist with your other hand that's not holding the weight so that you have strength on that side of your body as well. Creating a false sense of a weight in that hand. Three, two, one. Left side. Roll back. Here we go. Roll back. Offset dead left with my left. Step up with my left. Steady, controlled, precise movements. Supporting that back with that tight, strong core. Create that fist on the other side if that helps you. This is your last interval of this move. Nice. All right, final round. Kick stand deadlift into tactical lunge. Starting on my right again. Kick stand. Step back with that right leg. Under the left. Left leg kick stands. Step back with that left. Under the right. Nice work. Balance yourself. Keep your gaze down to the ground. A few feet in front of you. Connect strong with that heel that's in the front. Press the floor away from it. Two and one. That was awesome. You guys, we are closing in on the end of this workout already. We have an add-on set. I took this format from Ritter, so I call this a Ritter giant add-on set. So, we do one rep for the first move, and then the second move is our add-on move. So for example, our first set is a diamond push-up, and we're adding on each round up to five devil's presses. So, you'll do a diamond push-up, then you'll go down for a competition burpee, hop it up, one devil's press. Then we'll do one diamond push-up, and two, Competition burpee doubles presses, okay? Yes, you can. Nice wide weights, nice wide hops with your feet to get those weight to those weights. Elbows in, diamond push up. Competition burpee, belly down to the mat. Hop it up, grab those weights. Hitch up. That's one. Reset. One diamond push up. Now we have two competition burpee doubles presses. That's one. Belly down to the mat. Two. One diamond burp, one diamond push up. Three competition burpee doubles presses. One. Two.
three. Diamond push up. Going for four. One. Meet that sweat angel. Two. Sitting up to that C-shaped crunch right here, we're holding it. Then to two of the crash jabs, okay? All the way up to six. Here we go. Just fly. Sit it up. Bring the weights to your chest. One, two. These are too heavy for me to go fast with those. One chest fly. To your chest. One, two. Just fly. Going for three. One, two, three. Just fly. One, two, three, four. Going for five. I feel it too. My biceps, my triceps, my chest. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven down. Shake it. <laughs> we have a reset swing and add on up to seven kettlebell deadlifts. So I'm gonna go with my 60 for this round. Come on, it's Friday. We're in, we're out, we're done. After this, you have, all you have left is an imam. So challenge yourself here. Last add on rep move. One reset swing. Hop it up, one deadlift. Hop back, one reset. Hop up, two deadlifts. One, two. Hop back, reset. Three deadlifts, one, two, three. Hop back. One reset. Four deadlifts. One, two, three, four. Hop back. One reset. Five deadlifts. One, two, three. Four, five, one reset, six, 
six deadlifts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last round, one reset. Seven deadlifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Set it aside. Shake it out. This is it. You've come upon our final set. Every minute on the minute for six minutes. We have five chest fly leg lifts. Yes, more flies. Four pullovers to overhead sit ups. And then three get ups. I'm going with my 212s. You've got six minutes. That is it. That's all you have left in this workout. I'm hitting start. Chest flies and leg lifts are first. Don't give up on yourself here. Give it everything you've got. You start with five, go to four and three, and the remaining time is rest. Let's go. Chest line leg left. One, two, three, four, five. Feet come down. Pull over, overhead sit up. One. Two, three, four, get ups. One, two, three. 17 seconds rest for me. I'm gonna straighten out. I didn't think I was gonna have room to do a fly, but. We'll make it work. 10 seconds and we go again. Chest fly, leg drops. In five, four, three, two, one. Keep that back to the mat. One, two, three, four, five. Legs come down. Pull over, overhead sit up. One, two, Keep those weights overhead. They're not assisting you in getting up. Three. They're making it harder. Four. Bring the weights to your chest. Get up for three. One. Two. Three. 15 seconds rest. You should feel like a boss doing those get ups. Stand up with strength, squeeze your glutes, keep that body tight. Chest fly, leg left. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Pull over, sit up. One, two, Three, four, bring it to your chest, get up, one, two, three, 19 seconds, you're halfway done, three minutes left. Five seconds till we go. Legs are up, hands are up. One, two, three, four, five. Legs down, pull over. One, two, three. 
I'm fighting for it just like you. One. Two. Three. 20 seconds. We have two more rounds. I just want to stay right here too. Believe me, but I'm going to fight for these final two minutes. We didn't show up just to give up. We showed up to finish. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, 20 seconds. Use your recovery. Give yourself those Friday vibes. You've got one minute left in your workout. One minute left, run towards it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five pullovers. These reps add up. One, two, three, four. To your chest, get ups. Stand strong. One, two, three. Set them down. We need it. Weekend vibes coming your way, flowing with your endorphins throughout your body. Guys, that was awesome. I hope you loved it as much as I did. It was way more challenging than I expected. And I loved every second of those challenges. I hope you did too. Happy Friday. I will see you at the next workout.